think it's important that we transition from seeing everything segmented as just science or just engineering or just tech, just math, and learning how to integrate it. You know, these are really the fields that are going to be driving, you know, the, the U.S. economy, and I'm glad that these students are interested. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So for today's uh, STEM pre-academy, the goals are to kind of introduce uh, these students who are already uh, interested in you know, science and, and engineering uh, kind of subjects to uh, give them uh, some hands-on activities uh, in that area um, and kind of uh, fuel their interest a little bit more and give them a, a kind of a head start uh, into that kind of career. So today they'll be doing uh, several activities. So one activity, uh, we call it the aerodynamic whirly gig activity, where they will learn certain scientific concepts in aerodynamics and they will apply that to a whirly gig design that they will build and test uh, within the activity. So they had to design their own and it could be anything. They had some restrictions on what they could use to build it. Um, they had a little bit of a time constraint. You know, they had to design it and actually make it in a certain amount of time, and then they got to test it and then um, record the time that it took to hit the ground. When we have these uh, events, it definitely gives me more ideas on how to integrate um, the various disciplines because it and look at them as all balancing and working together simultaneously. Math is the language of science, and I think this uh, today uh, the kids were able to see how taking measurements and rates of the whirly gigs and then um, using math to answer the questions was very helpful. Um, the second activity, uh, they will, it's, it's called the infectious germs activity, where they are um, faced with an epidemic and they need to find uh, patient zero. So they will be um, working in groups, um, collaborating with each other, to discuss and determine a plan on how to solve who uh, patient zero is. Uh, but the common um, skill that they will take away is the documentation. Uh, we will have them write uh, engineering notebooks um, throughout the two activities. Uh, in the first activity, they will uh, document everything that they do, and at the end, they will write a step-by-step -step procedure on how to um, execute uh, what, they've, what they've built in the whirly gate activity, and also the plan that um, how they will solve patient zero in the germs activity. This is a great venue to, first of all, be on campus, um, work with and talk with uh, Eng College of Engineering students. Yeah, it's great. I see a lot of uh, smiling faces. I see all the kids um, very excited. What intrigued me about coming is bringing my students who needed help with their uh, science and engineering projects. We have a school-wide um, science fair and I'm really proud of our teachers because we've been able to improve our engineering projects but still there's sometimes concepts and ideas that our students have that we aren't able to help them uh, build. So uh, one of my students today was able to bring his um, car spoilers and he was able to speak with some of the engineering students as well as one of the uh, pre STEM pre-academy instructors and he got some ideas on how to uh, measure his project as well as how to continue to uh, make new prototypes. And it was also a learning experience for me because I've never been into cars. I, I don't know anything about spoilers and so it was uh, helpful. Um, I'm the president of the King Science Club, which is where a bunch of kids come after school on Mondays and Fridays and we are currently doing stuff for the Science Olympiad. Coming here uh, showed me that engineering is really fun and I kind of want to do it when I grow up. Yeah, and I also got to speak to an engineer on my science project, so I know how to improve it and I think I can do well. Uh, so I go to Washington Middle School and this event is, um, I guess, like um, a way to teach um, other students the engineering process and like how we can solve like a lot of problems with engineering. Uh, I like, um, I guess, uh, working with the other students and just like sharing our ideas so that like at one point, I may have been wrong, which I was, and then another person can catch it and say, hey, um, I think you're wrong, and like this might be it, and I'm, I could be like, yeah, you're right, and then, yeah, and then like, it was really helpful. As a teacher, I am constantly trying to improve myself. 
Um, it was mentioned today in the conference, you know, teachers themselves are engineers because we are constantly redesigning, rebuilding our lessons. And I think that days like this definitely strengthen me as a teacher and help me go back to the classroom with new ideas and new ways to present material. Um, I think for the students and just debriefing with them a little bit at lunch, they were like, wow, we didn't know about this. Being able to talk to different college kids, um, thinking actually, well, I could be here one day is very valuable to them, especially for middle school. I think it's the time to uh, make lasting impressions on our students. Uh, it, it's also, I think, very valuable if you are doing a STEM project for science fair with your students, that this is a place where you can find um, real help and answers and new ideas for the projects.